Well, what's happening, my friends? Bill Adams from the South Florida Morning Show. Some thoughts on the drive home. I forgot to mention this because we were all over it this morning on the show. Jennifer and I were talking about Colin Kaepernick, Citizen of the Year, at least according to GQ Magazine. First of all, can we start here? Raise your hand if you thought GQ Magazine was still around. I had no idea, honestly. Not a clue. So they come out with one of these... Uh, I don't know, I guess year-end kind of deals where they announce a Citizen of the Year, Athlete of the Year, blah, 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 blah. Citizen of the Year, Colin Kaepernick, okay, well, along with Goodell, one of the people responsible for tearing the NFL down into the dismay that it currently exists in. And besides the fact that he's disrespected pretty much anybody that's ever fought for, loved, protected the American flag, starting the whole kneeling protest. So... If you were to replace Colin Kaepernick with Citizen of the Year, who else would you go with? Oh, I don't know, somebody in his own league? A uh, guy that raised $37 million for hurricane relief in his own uh, town where he works and plays for the Houston Texans? Yeah, J.J. Watt. How about him? How about Citizens of the Year, uh, the firefighters in Northern California that help save lives and as much as they can homes? How about the... Cajun Navy, who also, in hurricane disaster relief, went off on their own into boats and tried to save citizens, and did. Citizen of the Year. But, really, the real winner here is GQ Magazine, because they actually got us to talk about them. They win. Who knew? See you tomorrow. The South Florida Morning Show.